Do you remember taking any of these female parts and holding them over your penis? Would you ever put on a pair of women's panties and then put some of these vaginas over your penis? Did you ever use the skins as masks, placing them over your own face? These are all questions that were answered during the confession of Edward Gein. He spoke very timidly, but his reply to all of these questions was more or less, Uh-huh. In 1957, Ed Gein confessed to raiding local cemeteries near his home in Plainfield, Wisconsin. He wouldn't always take entire bodies home with them, mind you. Sometimes he just... He was just a grave robber. But sometimes he would take entire bodies home with him. And when he when it came to body snatching, Eddie had a type. He liked to take home middle-aged women who had died and been buried recently and who reminded him of his mother. He wasn't banging them, though, if that's what you're thinking. No, no, no. Ed wasn't some kind of pervert. He was a lot more complicated than that. For one thing, he was a hoarder. That can be an affliction all its own for some people. I assume you have a collection or you have had a collection of some thing. Okay, so do a little mental exercise for me. Close your eyes and think about that collection. Think about whatever you had stacks of audio cassettes vhs tapes books scented candles pornography christmas ornaments i want you to think about how different and alive you felt each time you got to add an item to your collection remember how completely satisfied you felt when you got each and every one of those items into their places in your home maybe they were trinkets of some kind and you'd put them on a shelf and stand back and see how the light would fall on them. As you're thinking about it now, I'm sure you can even imagine how certain items in this collection made you feel a little extra sense of satisfaction. Sit with that feeling for just a moment. Try and recall how long that feeling lasted. Did you fall asleep that night just a little more pleased about life in general? Did you feel the same way the next week? It's not a feeling that lasts long. So one day you get up and you go buy another one. But what if you could stretch that feeling out just a little longer? Well, old Eddie had figured out exactly how to stretch that feeling out. And if the extent of your collecting consisted of you going to the mall once in a while and opening up your wallet when you found yourself with some extra cash, then you should consider yourself a lazy collector. At least in comparison to Ed Gein. Because Ed Gein was more than just a collector, he was also one hell of a seamster. He was not content with simply making a run to the cemetery every now and again when he got the itch. He didn't have any certain spot in his home where he displayed these dead women. When Ed confessed to wearing the masks he had crafted from the faces of the ladies he had collected from the cemeteries, they followed up and asked how long he would wear them. His response, in his own words, not too long. I had other things to do. And boy, he was not lying. When the authorities discovered Eddie's dirty little secret, they were not only horrified, they were completely grossed out. Among the items they found, and keep in mind, all of these items were out in the open in his home, all over the house. They found a wastebasket made of human skin, bowls made from human skulls, a pair of human lips on a drawstring, a belt made out of nipples, and on and on and on. But the wildest thing they found was 